Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Timmy Trico, also known as Horror Fan for Life. And my next top 10 video is going to be my top 10 male action stars. Uh, of course, everyone has their own opinion of who is the best or who they consider to be the best. And just remember, it's my opinion. We're all going to have different lists. So just be respectful of that. If you leave any comments in the comment section below, but I would love to hear some feedback from you guys. Um, I would love to see some of your guys' top 10 uh, favorite male action movie stars. Or if you don't have a top 10, just name a couple if you'd like. That is fine. Uh, but let's have a great conversation in the comment section below. Uh, but without further ado, I'm going to give you my top 10. But before that, real quick, I got some honorable mentions. They are Harrison Ford, Vin Diesel, Wesley Snipes, Tom Cruise, Matt Damon, Liam Neeson, Steven Seagal, Jean-Claude Van Damme. Now, this other guy I'm going to mention real quick. I haven't seen any of his movies, so of course he's not going to be an honorable mention or in the top ten. And that is Bruce Lee. But because of his reputation and everything... He does get an honorable mention here, but I haven't seen any of his movies, so uh, that's why he's not in the top 10. But would he make my top 10? Who knows? But coming in at number 10 is Keanu Reeves. Uh, ever since I've seen him in uh, his earlier days with Speed and all that, uh, The Matrix, now with the John Wick franchise, He's fantastic, and he is on fire when it comes to movies, especially action movies. We're supposed to be getting a fourth Matrix movie, uh, which I hope uh, ties everything together. And hopefully it comes back to be a better movie than the two sequels we got, which the first sequel was okay. The second one, just, it didn't do the, uh, the series anything, uh, any justice or anything. But... I love Keanu Reeves. He's on fire right now. And there's supposed to be six movies in that John Wick franchise, from what I hear. And we already are confirmed to have a fourth movie, which I am looking forward to. Uh, they got a lot to live up to because that John Wick trilogy is freaking fantastic. Coming in at number nine is Will Smith. Uh, ever since his Fresh Prince days, I have loved this actor. Uh, Bad Boys is what got me started uh, as far as movies go. And he, he can do it all. Uh, he's done TV, music, uh, movies, writer, I'm assuming, a director, of course. But he, he's done it all. And I love the Bad Boys trilogy. I know some people hate on it because uh, they don't like Michael Bay or they just didn't like the movies for I don't know what reason uh, but uh, Will Smith is one of the best action stars out there and it was hard for me I, I could have put him up higher but if it wasn't for these other actors but he is fantastic Independence Day is one of my favorite movies along with the Bad Boys trilogy uh, Men in Black of course the first two movies anyway. I didn't like the third movie. Uh, I actually prefer the fourth movie we got over the third. Uh, that's for another video. Uh, but yeah, number nine is Will Smith. Number eight is Jason Statham. Uh, he is the one that's come out here lately. Uh, before this, I really haven't seen many of his movies. But a lot of his movies have come up on my movie channels and then I've decided to watch and I'm pretty close to 20 movies of his filmography uh, right now which is really fantastic. I know a lot of his movies don't get uh, great reception as far as critics go but I never pay attention to those guys anyway. I'll decide whether or not I'm going to watch the movie and majority of the time I know what I'm going to get. I'm going to get a lot of action, fighting, gunfights and explosions. And that's what I look for in an action movie. The story, yeah, you want it to be uh, a great story. But at the end of the day, 
I, I just I love action movies mainly for the reasons I just said. And uh, Jason Statham, he, he's right up there. I love him in the Expendable movies. Uh, now he's got Hobbs and Shaw, uh, Fast and Furious franchise. He's got all these different movies, and I just I, I just love him. Coming in number seven is Mel Gibson. What else is there to say? Mad Max trilogy, uh, Lethal Weapon franchise, uh, Braveheart, Patriot, just phenomenal uh, action movie star. Although he did have a bump in the road there for a few years, but he has come back in a big way, and uh, he's just he's one of my favorites, and he's funny too. He uh, he just just great in that Lethal Weapon franchise. Along with the action, with the uh, comedic chops, he has that as well. Uh, uh, most important, or case in point, I loved him in uh, What Women Want. I thought that was a fantastic movie. Um, and uh, it just shows that he can do other genres of movies uh, besides action. And he did a great job of that movie. But as far as action movies go, he is the cream of the crop, and he deserves a spot in the top ten. Coming in at number six, uh, Clint Eastwood. Clint Eastwood is phenomenal. He's been doing movies for over five decades now. Uh, the Dollars Trilogy, the Dirty Harry franchise, my favorite Western of all time, Unforgiven. Just a phenomenal actor, writer, director, producer. The man does it all. And uh, he's even funny, too. Uh, and the movies, Any Which Way But Loose and Any Which Way You Can, are fantastic. I was really hoping we'd get a third movie in there. Uh, he plays Philo Beto. He's a, um, a fighter, a bare-knuckle brawler, and it's just hilarious. You got Clyde, uh, the uh, orangutan, which is just great. Um, but Clint Eastwood comes in at number six. He's fantastic. And yeah, just, just freaking awesome. Coming in at number five is Bruce Willis. I mean, need I say more? Die Hard franchise. Uh, he, he's just, he's freaking awesome. That first movie, especially uh, being considered one of the greatest Christmas movies of all time. Uh, and yeah, there's argument of whether or not it's a Christmas movie. It is a Christmas movie. You guys need to get over it. And that's just the end of it. But it is a great action movie, a great franchise. I haven't seen the fifth movie, so I can't comment on that one. But the other four I absolutely love. Die Hard with a Vengeance is my favorite in the franchise. Him and Samuel L. Jackson are fantastic together. But, uh, yeah, he comes in at number five. I, I just I love, love his work. Coming in at number four is Arnold Schwarzenegger. What else is there to say? Uh, Terminator, T2, uh, Conan the Barbarian, Conan the Destroyer, Commando, uh, Predator. Uh, this guy's done it all. And he's fantastic. He, he had a big, big uh, time uh, hit movies in the 80s and 90s. Uh, he has slowed down over the years, uh, but it's still one of my favorite action movie stars. And uh, especially with his earlier work, uh, which is why he's still uh, in the top ten for me. Actually, now top you know top five. Uh, yeah, but Arnold, he's fantastic. Coming in at number three is Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Speaking of being on fire, ever since the Mummy Two, where he had a small role, then he had the Scorpion King, and then uh, Walking Tall. The Rundown. He has just done movie after movie, action movie after action movie, and he is just, he's freaking awesome. Um, he is one of the highest paid actors in Hollywood, has been for several years, and I can see why. Because pretty much anything he touches turns to gold, makes a lot of money, and uh, even when he joined the Fast and Furious franchise, boom, they just exploded. And, um, I love the fact that he's got he's got his own spinoff uh, with Jason Statham, which I think is great. Uh, I hope he's in the last Fast and Furious movie uh, that we're going to be getting at number ten, but we'll just have to see. 
I know there's a tip between him and Vin Diesel, but yeah, Dwayne Johnson comes in at number three. I love love his filmography. Coming in at number two is Jackie Chan. What else do I need to say about Jackie Chan? Uh, his days, his Hong Kong movies with uh, Police Story, uh, Rumble in Hong Kong, Rumble in the Bronx, uh, the Rush Hour franchise, the Shanghai Noon franchise, which we're supposed to be getting some more movies in there, which I think is great. Uh, he he does it all. He can write, direct. He does his own stunts, which he's really famous for, and he's just funny. Um, and I I love love his movies, Drunken Master, uh, just fantastic. And uh, he's one badass dude, which I, I really would love to meet him. Uh, but Jackie Chan comes in at number two. His filmography speaks for itself, and he's done a lot of great work. Uh, over four decades worth and it just continues but yeah he goes into number two and my number one favorite male action star is Sylvester Stallone was there going to be anybody else this dude is the only actor or actress that I know of that has four successful franchises out there he has the Rocky franchise the Rambo franchise the Expendables, and Escape Plan uh, under his belt. All those franchises have at least three movies in them. And the only ones I haven't seen are the Escape Plan movies and then the two Creed movies. All the other ones I have seen. And so, yeah, just with those movies alone, uh, make him the best, in my opinion. Because uh, he writes and he can direct as well. Uh, but I also love Demolition Man, Cobra, um, although I think Cobra is a little bit overrated. It was supposed to be his version of Beverly Hills Cop, uh, or at least what he saw or wanted to uh, envision Beverly Hills Cop to be. Uh, and he was replaced by Eddie Murphy, which is probably a good thing. Uh, Cobra was okay. I think it's, like I said, overrated. Uh, it's one of my least favorite movies with Sylvester Stallone. Uh, but Tango and Cash is one of my favorites. And like I said, Demolition Man um, is fantastic. But Sylvester Stallone deserves the number one spot. Uh, and until someone comes along and can outdo his filmography, uh, he will remain at number one on my list. So there you have it. Those are my top ten Sylvester Stallone movies. Or actually, sorry about that. It's my top 10 favorite male action star movies. So in the comment section below, like I said, uh, give me your top 10 favorite male action stars. And um, let me know what you thought about my list as well. Uh, other than that, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to click that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. And if you like this uh, video, hit that like button. And share this video on your social media as you see fit to. But I thank you guys for watching and check you later.